Okay, welcome to Obscure Depths. With me today is John, our NFL Pick'em expert. Let's get right into it. Week 3, New York Giants at Carolina. Giants an, an early one and a half point favorite. Not, not a big spread there. What do you think? That sounds like a pretty tough one. Um, who knows if the Panthers running game will explode or not this week, I guess. I don't know what kind of success the Giants have had against that. The Panthers have a running game? <laughs> Seems like it. Last week they showed up at least. <sighs> um, I yeah, I guess I think I think I'll take the Giants in this one. I I just think experience is gonna triumph triumph in this one. I know I know they got Steve Smith and whatnot, but I just think Eli Eli's gonna show his maturity and they're gonna they're gonna take this game. Giants showed a lot of maturity last week in that comeback win against Tampa, so I, I like the Giants. I think I have to agree with you on that one. All right, we're both taking the Giants minus one and a half. Moving on, Baltimore, field goal favorite at home against New England. First of all, what happened to New England last week? Jeez. Uh, yeah, terrible game from Tom Brady. Missed a field goal there at the end. So a little uh, spillover from the AFC Championship game last year. In, in their in their home field too. That was just bothersome. But anyway, so yeah. So Baltimore. Uh, three points, three point, lead, uh, three point spread. Sorry, Baltimore favored by three. What do you think, John? Uh, you know, I think I would take that. I think it could be a close game, just a field goal game. I think I would take the three. You know, I felt a little bit this year that Baltimore's defense is a little bit old, and I think, um, you know, they showed that a little bit, not being able to keep up with the speed of Philadelphia last week, but. I think I think I gotta take the home team in this one. You know, it's basically a pick 'em game when the home team's favored by three. So I think I'll I think I'll go with Baltimore. It seems like a field goal game. Maybe maybe you know maybe they'll take it by five or six. But I'll, I'll take I'll take Baltimore by three definitely. Pittsburgh three and a half point favorites on the road at Oakland. Who is Oakland this year? <laughs> oh and two. That's who they are. Showed us who Miami could be last week. Uh, I don't know. Pittsburgh has also been pretty questionable, I guess. Um, I probably have to take Pittsburgh. I think they might win by more than that, but depends on which Oakland team decides to show up on Sunday. Yeah, generally speaking, no matter what the record, past history, Pittsburgh does struggle a little bit at Oakland. Um, I think they'll take it, though. I mean, the Raiders have to come out and beat somebody before I'm going to pick them again, I think. They need... They need I mean, it'd be nice to see them get a, their first home win against a big opponent like this, but yeah, I, I think Bolt, Pittsburgh wins this by 7 to 10 points. Easy. Yeah. Houston, 2.5 point favorites on the road at Denver. What do you think, John? Mile High is a pretty tough place to play. Manning showed his struggles on the road early, I guess, uh, but Atlanta is also a tough place to play. Going home would help. Um, Houston's been pretty good. I don't know if they face anybody really tough this year yet. No, no, not really. Their defense is supposed to be pretty salty. I guess I might take Houston, yeah. at least to cover. Houston's played the Dolphins in Jacksonville this year, True. so granted they've looked impressive, um, but I, and I. And, and I like Denver, and I like Manning this early in the season, but I think Houston's going to go in there and win. I think they're going to beat him by a touchdown. Um, I just think I think uh, that defense, you know, has kind of had a nice little ease into the season. Now they're going to be ready. They're going to be ready for what Manning has to throw at him. Yeah. San Diego, three-and-a-half point favorites at home against Atlanta. I think that's the most surprising spread of the week for me. I, I just don't see how Atlanta can be an underdog until somebody beats them. They have been a very impressive team so far, and I, I just don't see it. What do you think? I can't say otherwise. I think they've played pretty stellar football so far this year. So you like Atlanta? I do. Yes. All right, I'll take it. I'll take Atlanta on the points definitely too. I think I think they win this game by ten points. I just think San Diego had might be riding a little bit of a high from squashing a bad Tennessee team last week. Yeah. Granted, they are at home, but I, I think Atlanta's going to show them who's boss, definitely. Philadelphia, four-and-a-half-point favorites on the road against the 2-0 and Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> what do you think? 
Uh, I think I might have to take Philadelphia. I think maybe after those first two weeks, maybe they're going to figure something out and start clicking a little bit. Uh, Arizona probably won't roll over. I can't imagine it'll be just like that, but who knows if they actually show up or not. I mean, I guess it's depending on Philadelphia and their turnovers if they want to keep giving the ball away. Yeah, you know, this is this is a good matchup, I think. Um, you know, Philly's Philly's got a lot of speed, but I think Arizona's got a young a young, fresh, healthy defense and I think I think they could I think this is gonna be a closer game than that. I'll take Arizona in the points. I I dogged Arizona the first week of the season, and, and they've proven me wrong ever since. So I, I'm going to take Arizona. I think they'll stay within a field goal. I think Philly wins by a touchdown. Indianapolis, three-and-a-half-point favorites at home against Jacksonville. What do you think, John? Uh, I think I might have to take Indianapolis. Jacksonville hasn't really played very good so far this year. Uh, Andrew Luck had a decent game, I guess, against Minnesota. Um they let him back in, but I don't know if that's more defensively for Indianapolis that let him back in there, but I think they shouldn't have much trouble with Jacksonville at all. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Jacksonville is – I don't even know who – is Ch Chad Henney Jacksonville starting quarterback now? Is Blaine Gabbard hurt? Uh, he got hurt, but I don't think he is out necessarily. I guess I haven't heard anything officially about that. Yeah, I, I like the Colts. Andrew Luck. Two straight wins for the rookie. How about that? I think they win this game by a touchdown. I mean, I know it's a divisional game, but they're at home. They're going to be riding a high from that win. Yeah, they take this game by a touchdown easily. Buffalo, two and a half point favorites on the road at Cleveland. Seems kind of close, I guess. Uh, I would take Buffalo to cover that. I don't think Cleveland has anything to stop them. I mean, not that Buffalo is much of a threat, but... They seem to be playing better than Cleveland. Yeah, you know, I tend to agree there. Cleveland is 0-2. Um, you know, but they're fighters. These young kids are fighters in Cleveland. I like them. I think, I'm think i thinking shootout in this game. I'm thinking like like a 41-38 type of thing. And I think Cleveland and Brandon Whedon is going to get their first win. How about that? Taking the home team dog. New Orleans, 7.5 point favorites at home against KC. Oh, they're both 0 and 2, right? They are. Uh, I guess, yeah, New Orleans has got to win sometime. I guess that Kansas City hasn't really been too too exciting from the little football that I have seen, but uh, I think New Orleans will easily beat them. I think all things considered, right now, I think Kansas City's got to be the worst team in the league. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Raiders fan. I just think they haven't, they haven't shown up in either one of their games so far. And you, kn you know the Saints at 0 and 2 are going to be – Pissed off, and they are going to take their take their aggression out in KC. I, I think I'd take the Saints in this game if they were favored by 14 points. I think the, I think they'll squash them. I think they'll beat them by at least 20 points. I could be wrong, but whatever. I think I think the Saints are going to go in there, go go back home, and just destroy the Chiefs. Uh, the Jets three and a half point favorites on the road against Miami. This is a pretty tough call. Divisional game. Uh, I guess I haven't seen much from the Jets that's really shown me one way or the other. It's a high scoring game against Buffalo. I don't know. Tough game, tough road against Pittsburgh. I think I might have to take the Jets. Uh, you know, this. I think this game's going to come down to whether the Jets can stop Reggie Bush. Um, you know, I think divisional game... I like Miami. I'll take I'll take Miami in the points. I think they can I think they can hang. I think they can win this by three, not lose by three. So I'll take Miami. Love that home team dog. Uh, Washington three and a half point favorites against Cincinnati. When I looked at this game, I, I I can't even I can't even remember the last time these two played. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's on the schedule, but I, it just seems weird that Washington and Cincinnati are playing against each other. But anyway, Washington three and a half point favorites at home against Cincinnati. What do you think? This could be a pretty exciting game, I guess. Uh, I think I might have to take Washington with the home, home, hometown advantage or whatever. And uh, Cincinnati's been a pretty decent team the last year, and they've been improving. So I guess it'd make an exciting game, but I think Washington will cover the three and a half. Um, I'm gonna take Cincinnati in this. I'm I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I just think. I think Washington might be might be a little bit of a letdown early on in the season here. Be in store for a little bit of a letdown anyway. I just think 
they, these are both two very young teams, and I think Cincinnati's got that slight bit of experience edge, and I think they go in there and take this. We'll be right back with Obscure Depths. Sorry. Why is that not uploading? 